Welcome to Sound and Fury. I am Eric Wilfred Watson, the first, one, and only, and best. And I'm Hugh Frank, and I've often wondered why they call it taking a dump. I mean, you're not actually taking anything. They ought to call it leaving a dump. Okay, Andy Rooney. So, today we are going to talk about something a little different. Normally we come here and we talk about movies that we like, pop culture stuff, music, Science fiction y, Star Trek y, Star Wars y, Marvel y. Have we ever Loki. mentioned Star Trek in a video? I don't think so. Okay. Hulk Hogan swinging we on a wrecking Star ball. Trek. Oh, yeah. But today we're not going to talk about any of that stuff. <laughs> today we're going to talk about things that piss us off more than they should, like the first world problems that <laughs> just get under my skin and irritate the crap out of me. It's all true. And it's hard to do that without sounding like Andy Rooney. <laughs> but I'll stop. Yeah, how, many, how many people younger than 35 or 40 know who Andy Rooney is or was? Um, yeah, I suppose. A lot of people aren't drinking the water that comes out of their faucet these days. Pure Hawaii water. This is sources of virgin rainforest, it claims. When does a rainforest lose its virginity anyway? So I have things that piss me off more than they should, and I'm going to vent, because I have a microphone. So you will listen to every damn word I have to say! Holding the door open for somebody who is really far away from the building. <laughs> Especially if they're holding a door open that's farther away than the door you were going to use, going into the building. Irritates the crap out of me. They're just trying to be nice. No, they're being dicks. Don't do that. <laughs> what if I was even going to go outside? What if I going to like stand outside and smoke a cigarette? I don't, but I could. I was going to start smoking right now and you stopped me. See, look at They're being nice to you. This happened to me recently where I was going to a gas station and the guy holds open the door, the farthest door away from me, so I actually walk my fat ass two seconds more that way. And uh, I kind of politely nod. I don't say anything. He's like, nod, a thank you. I, mm, and uh, go in. And uh, as, as I'm, I'm already past the threshold of the door, I'm in the gas station at this point. And he says, so how are you doing today? So instead of stopping, turning around and looking at the guys, oh, I'm doing well. Thank you so much. How are you doing today? No, I just wanted to go in there, buy my shit and leave. So I just, I, I just like, great. And I, I don't even know if I, he heard me, but he's like, oh, that bad, huh? And, uh, look, fine, and you want to know how I'm doing? I was doing great until you, asshole! <laughs> so, you hate people being nice to you? Yes. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that guy watches this video. Like, hey. <laughs> so, you got something that irritates you more than it should? Um, no. Yes, I hate people that are irritated by people like that the whole door's open. I hate people that won't answer my question when I ask them how they're doing. Um, no, I, I, I have a few annoyances. Um, I, I think like you mentioned one to me, and I, I share it. Uh, we have, not far from our house, our street ends at a T. There's no stop sign at the T. You can turn left, you can turn right. Uh, and either way, you do not have a stop sign. Well, if you're coming at it from the other direction, you do have a stop sign. And depending on which street you go down, I've found myself waiting at the stop sign while people wait at the not stop sign for me to run the stop sign. Um, so I wait and I point at the stop sign and I wait and I point at the stop sign. And I've been caught a couple times where it's like, okay, well, I guess I'll go. And then I start to go and they're like, oh, I don't have a stop sign. And then you got to like dynamite the brakes. Otherwise, you're about mm -hmm. to get into an accident that you caused because you just ran a stop sign while somebody else was in the intersection. Yes. That annoys the piss out of me. My next thing that annoys me is very similar. And this is probably, if you're outside of the Midwest of the United States, you probably think I'm making this up. But people try to be nice at intersections. Yeah. You have a four-way stop. You stop. 
it's not your turn to go because somebody else has already stopped before you did. But that person waves you forward like, mm. you can go before me even though I was here first. I hate that person. <laughs> With every fiber of my being. Because you can't trust them. You look in their beady little eyes and you're just wondering if they're ready to just run out there and smash into you in the intersection. Because if I go when it's not my turn to go, I could get a ticket, for one. Yeah. I might see something he doesn't. Like, there was a similar thing where I am pulling out of a parking lot and I'm turning left. I have to pass two lanes of traffic going this way to make my left turn. There's a car coming from this way who stops, waves me forward to go, but I can't because what he can't see over here is there's other cars coming in this mm. lane here. I can't cut in front of them because I don't want to get into a car accident, but the person over here is, like, frantically waving for me to go, and then when I don't, he drives past and flips me off. That happened fairly recently. I'm like, well, if you had just gone like you were supposed to, I can turn when, I'm, when it's my right away. Get off my lawn. So basically, bad drivers suck. Yeah, don't be courteous. Just follow the rules of the road. <laughs> it's more polite to just... The rules are so there for a reason. you don't like polite people, and you don't like courteous people, and you don't like friendly people. No, they all piss me off. Da humbug. Get off my lawn. Alrighty then. People that pay with exact change, especially with coins, <laughs> and they cash. count them out yeah. one freaking little nickel at a time, and it takes three seconds longer than if they would have just given them a debit card or paid with a 20 and taken the cash. I hate people that count change. That the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. All right, then. I just use a credit card. They'd love me. Yeah. No, yeah. I haven't used cash or change in, I don't know, the millennium. <laughs> People that use perfume, cologne, or body spray, or the worst, scented lotion to excess. 60% of the time, it works every time. Mm. If I smell you from more than... If you smell! <laughs> Stinky people that don't think they stink because they put personal hygiene stuff on that stinks. Pisses me off. There's an age There's an age thing to that too, though, and I, and I kind of feel bad. So it, it a lot of times it's, it's older folks, and it's because as your olfactory nerves begin to break down as you age, you put on cologne or perfume until you can smell it, but by then gotcha. everybody else can smell a lot more. So it, it's indexed. Well, that's a, a that's bit. a separate thing. But um, when before COVID nineteen, when I actually went to an office, um, I won't name anybody or even what I do for did for a living. But he worked in an office, people. <laughs> coconut lotion, like near where I sat at work. You have to have the coconut lotion. I, 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 I couldn't breathe. It's just. Ugh, and every single day, and the person was a higher position than me, so I didn't really feel good complaining. It's mm. just like higher rank wise, or they actually had higher ground. Boy. It's over, Anakin. I have the higher ground and the coconut lotion. <laughs> yes, but not everybody likes the way your personal hygiene stuff smells. Cover mm. up your stink, use deodorant, a little bit of perfume, cologne, fine, but don't go out of the house when you stink. I knew a guy in that same office that I didn't know who it was at first. I called him the Brown Bomber. Um, because it there was, was me. No, it wasn't you. Oh. Um, it was, there, was, there was a guy that would be in the men's room, and you'd hear, the, you know, you'd hear him in there pushing one out, and then he'd just flush and leave. And so I knew I would not shake anybody's hand on that floor because I knew <laughs> that somewhere there was somebody. And one day, I just happened to look at their shoes under the stall. And... Sure enough, flush and leave, and then <laughs> happen to notice that same person walking later, and like, I know who you are now. And oh, it's disgusting. Yeah, it was awful. So yeah, I hate people that don't wash their hands after they go to the bathroom. And I hate people in the bathroom that talk to me, especially if I don't know Who them. does number two work for? If I'm taking a whiz, I prefer to whiz in peace, which is why I didn't say anything to Jonathan Frakes. Watch our Star Trek review of the worst eight episodes for that story, but 
I don't like people to talk to me in the bathroom. It's annoying, aggravating, awkward, and I don't like it. There's an unwritten rule you just don't talk to somebody in the, bath in the bathroom. I, I think it's amongst mostly dudes. I don't yeah. know. I think girls talk to each other. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I've, I've, but yeah, do, for dudes, it's very awkward for the most part. I think you can agree with this one. People that take up more than one parking space or park right the fuck up to the line. <laughs> I am that guy sometimes. I have a large <laughs> truck, and I've had it for a few years, and I still have trouble parking sometimes. I just don't, you know, and, and sometimes I'll try to rearrange, but otherwise, there are other times I've, like, already shut my engine off. I was like, I'm not going to restart. Well, right. th th then you park next to the person who's parked too far over, and then they leave, and you look like the asshole. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So there's <laughs> that. Yeah. So sometimes that's me, but never... Um, but the people that take up like four spaces, I don't want to avoid door, door dings, so they intentionally take up the four spaces. And we live in Wisconsin too, and if there's just a tiny itsy bitsy little bit of snow, people just stop their vehicle wherever and yeah. didn't even try. Yeah, well, sometimes it's hard to see the lines though. Like the <laughs> same office building, um, you in the morning the, the snow would be over the lines, but by mid afternoon the snow would have melted and. <laughs> And then the lines are just, everything's just messed up all across the whole parking lot, and everybody looks like an asshole, because <laughs> nobody knew where to park. Now, I do like cigar smoking, but I, when I'm finished with my cigar, I will extinguish it and get rid of it properly. I don't know if something about cigarette smokers, where they just are incapable of not throwing it on the ground. I know most cigarette smokers will expose, extinguish their cigarette and get rid of it, but Every building has a pile of cigarette butts in front of it. Campsites, sidewalks, just there's cigarette butts everywhere. So somebody Walk being nice to you and waving you in through a door while holding it open and asking you how you're doing and smoking a cigarette and putting the butt out on the floor would be like the worst person ever? Yes, especially if they said, uh, to make a long story short, <laughs> which drives me crazy, <laughs> or people that say, I'm just saying, especially after they just said something kind of horrible. No. Uh. But people who say, and to make a long story short, are actually making the story longer by using that useless phrase. It's kind of like that extra piece of paper they add to your mortgage when you're filling it out that is, talks about the Paperwork Reduction Act and how the, how it, <laughs> how the mortgage industry is immune from the Paperwork Reduction Act. So you actually have to sign one additional piece of paper acknowledging that there's more paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> kind, of, kind, of like, kind of like the Lopey thing. Making an appointment to the dentist or doctor or what have you for 1 o'clock in the afternoon, but show up 15 minutes early for the appointment. Right. Well, then why don't you make the appointment for 12.45? Will you stop bothering me? Or whatever. So you have time to fill out the paperwork, though. Well, then make that, then make the appointment factor in the time it makes you fill out a form. Especially if you're going to make me wait an hour after I show up. It's like, I'm early for my appointment, and you're late, and you're already here. <laughs> Yeah, but they're the one driving the Porsche, so, you know. Oh, that's true. That makes it all better. So, you were saying some figures of speech, too. One of the ones that gets under my skin is the, uh, I, I, is it I could care less or I couldn't care less? I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting confused in my own mind now. The. If you say I could care less, could that care means less. you do care at least a little. Like, I could care less. That means you do care. I live in Green Bay, Wisconsin, which is a sports city. I think there's like a team here that plays something like cricket or someone. Uh, I, I don't follow football. No. But I am a big guy who lives in Wisconsin. People will just start talking football at me. Hmm. And I don't know anything about football. I like baseball. It's the only sport I really pay attention to. But even with that, I'm kind of a passive fan. I don't live, eat, breathe, sleep, and shit the Green, the Green Bay Packers. Hmm. But everybody just assumes that I do, and it's annoying. Hmm. All right. Bah humbug. Just tell them you're a Lions fan. They'll stop talking to you. That works for me. What I think would be better was that if I just start talking to them about Star Trek in the same manner they just randomly started talking to me about football. <laughs> Remember that episode, Spock's Brain? <laughs> Well, how about that sixth Wayun clone? I think that he was way better than the seventh Wayun clone because he had a conscience and really didn't like the Dominion War and the Founders. What do you think? Who's your favorite Vorta? Well, 
You're not allowed to have a favorite Vorta. <laughs> you have to love all the Vortas individually as the Vortas that they are. It's like having a favorite child. You can't do that. I don't know what the f*** a Vorta is either. <laughs> But, and the next thing on my list, and I apologize to my family and friends who do this uh-huh. for telling you uh-huh. how much you piss me off, but I hate group text messages, hmm. especially like Happy Arbor Day or whatever that's sent to me and 45 people I don't know, and then I have to get all of the replies to, oh, you too, from phone numbers that oh I don't God, know. Oh my God, people being happy. It's so I annoying. Know it's Trying to watch dumb videos on my phone while I'm pooping. I don't need a text message popping up from somebody I don't know who's trying to be nice to a group of people. And, just, and holding a door open, maybe even. Yeah. <laughs> just be an asshole. Life is so much more simple. I'm just a regular Joe with a regular <laughs> job. Anyway. But anyway, um, in the comments below, tell me how much of a sociopath I am. And let me know what things irritate you more than they should God, I feel other like than other than people that have irritations that go beyond what's rational and normal. <laughs> I feel like so much of a better person now. <laughs> this has been therapeutic for me. Very cathartic. You know, you're not the worst person in the room of two people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>